Hey, what painters? It's Tenley and Kipton here to give you our weekly recap of The Bachelorette Season 7 with Miss Ashley Hebert. Coming to you this week from The Office. Strictly business. No smiling at all. <laughs> Starting off with uh, fashion. Alright, so fashion. Ashley actually had very similar outfits this week, but my favorite was her white skinny jeans and a cutout shoulder tan top. Very flirty and fun on her date with Lucas, and I think it just really expressed how she was feeling this week after getting rid of the B word. And speaking Ooh. of that B word, let's just get it out there and be very done quickly. with him after this week no more. Bentley, gone. And everybody's been asking us, you know, if there was any time that Ashley could have possibly had um, time for intimacy or making that connection with Bentley um, in that early on. And no, not unless the producers and show creators. The producers run a pretty tight ship. They allow you to have time. They create the time for the two people to be together. So unless they created that, then they wouldn't really have time alone. Exactly. So now that that's taken care of, wouldn't have happened. Everybody else on Facebook and Twitter has been asking, you know, you've been in these guys' shoes. Uh, you are on The Bachelorette as one of those guys, and uh, how would you have felt, um, you know, being there with Ashley telling the guys about Bentley, and how do you feel about how they react? Uh, for Twitter World, we, we saw those, and this is basically it. The guys have put their whole life on hold. They're going through this surreal experience. They're halfway around the world in Hong Kong, and their sole job is to see how they feel about this woman. Her job is to see how she feels about each of them. So they're down to like eight or nine guys, and so for her to come through now, at this point in the game, when two-thirds of the guys are gone, and say, okay, guys, now my head's clear. Now I'm ready to pay attention to each of you. It's got to be tough. I can imagine. I mean, I'd be hurt by that. So, um, yeah, that was a tough thing. That's exactly what happened. That's why those guys were offended. Kind of rightfully so. And Ashley was hurt, too. So that, that was a total loss that should have never happened. Yep. So, let's put that all behind us. Let's go to bigger and brighter things. The one-on-one -on -one dates. What do you think? Right, so Ashley finally took Lucas on a one-on-one -on -one date. That's right. What did you think about that? For a guy that, like, a few weeks ago we didn't know much about, he's really ramped up here. And, um... Who cares what I think? Ashley said she feels like a woman around him. She feels safe, secure. She feels, um, you know, like he's giving her all attention. That's all that matters. I think that they're starting to form a connection. Definitely feels good to feel like a woman in your man's arms. So, all right, so there's two reasons of why uh, you would have a one on one date. And one of them being that that bachelor bachelorette still wants to know if there's a connection with this one person that they're thinking of and they're the discovery just not date. sure. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then there's another reason. Basically when you know you really like this person, you will use your dates to do whatever you gotta do to have time with them. Enter JP. Right, so JP is the obvious front runner and Ashley and JP have great chemistry and it's also really cool because most of the dates this season have actually been very doable um, for all of us except for the traveling around the world thing. But Ashley and JP's dates have been the most easygoing and just relaxed and very natural, and very natural to where they can get to know one another without any big distractions and really trust that they have a foundation. So does that mean he gets the rose? Yep, JP gets the rose again. <laughs> Every week except for one. It's just all about that compatibility. It's not about a winner or a competition. It's about Ashley and that compatibility, and I see it there. So there you have it. More at wetpaint.com, or you can go to facebook.com slash bachelorette fan site, and we will see you guys <laughs> next week. Bye.